I'm Kelly Mercado, and in this video, I'm presenting an interesting new invention in the field of space exploration. Rob Reed from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and Ben Hockman and Marco Pavone from Stanford University collaborated on creating a rover that explores planetary bodies where there is very little gravity like asteroids, comets, and small moons. They call this rover Hedgehog. Exploration on the surface of asteroids and other small planetary bodies presents a unique set of challenges, including the low gravity environment and the rugged terrain. A rover like Curiosity, which is currently exploring Mars, would not generate much traction and would likely push itself away from the surface and land upside down as it turns its wheels. Hedgehog is capable and functioning in such environments. Instead of rolling around on wheels, the Hedgehog houses three reaction wheels inside its cubic structure. The three reaction wheels are mounted orthogonally, one along each axis. When you spin one of these wheels up and then stop it abruptly, it imparts a torque corresponding to its momentum to whatever it's attached to. Being a cube, it's completely symmetrical and doesn't care a lot about which of its faces are up. This means that if it's bouncing around an asteroid, it doesn't need to worry about landing a certain way. And this is where the mobility comes in. Hedgehog is mechanically and thermally sealed. The spikes from each corner provide traction and allows the hedgehog to make certain maneuvers. The spikes could also house instruments such as thermal probes to take the temperature of the surface as the robot tumbles. The JPL Hedgehog prototype has eight spikes and three flywheels, and it weighs around 11 pounds by itself. But the researchers envisioned that it could weigh more than 20 pounds with instruments such as cameras and spectrometers. The Stanford prototype is slightly smaller and lighter, and it has shorter spikes. Hedgehog prototypes were tested aboard NASA C-9 aircraft for microgravity research in June 2015. Over the course of four flights, these robots demonstrated several types of maneuvers that would be useful for getting around on small bodies with reduced gravity. Researchers tested these maneuvers on different materials that mimic a wide range of surfaces, sandy, rough and rocky, slippery and icy, and soft and crumbly. Hedgehog's simplest maneuver is a yaw, or a turn in place. After pointing itself in the right direction, Hedgehog can either hop long distances using one or two spikes or tumble short distances by rotating from one face to another. Hedgehog typically takes large hops toward a target of interest, followed by small, smaller tumbles as it gets closer. Hedgehog can also perform a tornado maneuver in which the robot aggressively spins to launch itself from the surface. This maneuver could be useful to escape from a sandy sinkhole or other situations in which the robot would otherwise be stuck. The hedgehog requires little momentum from its wheels to allow motion and therefore requires little energy, which is due mainly to the microgravity. In addition, the cubic structure is also easy to man manufacture and package within the spacecraft. The researchers are currently working on Hedgehog's autonomy, trying to increase how much the robots can do by themselves without instructions here from Earth. Their idea is that an orbiting mothership would relay signals to and from the robot, similar to how NASA's Mars rover Curiosity and Opportunity communicate via satellites orbiting around Mars. Other further developments include scaling the rover up and down, covering the sides with solar panels to generate power, and they can also offer access to a variety of instruments for surface analysis like a spectrometer, a microscope, and cameras. This is a similar patent to the Hedgehog, invented by Mulfader and Huffmaster for the RCA Corporation, entitled Backup Wheel for a 3-axis reaction wheel spacecraft, and this invention aims to maintain satellites at zero momentum 
using a control system which includes three mutually orthogonal reaction wheels, which is similar to the Hedgehog. In addition to these three wheels, the invention also has a backup wheel which serves the purpose of the main axis wheels if they ever 